I'm going to quickly just introduce myself again. I'm Sharon Cavanaugh. I'm the owner and director of Connecticut Art School. This is our 19th annual art show, our second virtual one. And I just want to give that big shout out to parents that helped keep everybody safe during COVID, didn't send their kids to school when there was any question of exposure, helped us keep going and helped us keep this as a sanctuary so that our kids could come and get off their computers and make art. And I, I'm sorry, I teach levels one and two this year. And um, I was a student here for a few years, uh, taught a little bit, went off to college, came back, and now I've been teaching back here for a couple of years, so it's been great. Hi guys, I'm Miss Cody. Um, I teach level one and level two, both virtually and in person. I've been here for about three years, um, and it was a great year. Thank you so much. I'm Miss Kathy with a C. I've been teaching at Connecticut Art School since 2007. I teach level two and level three this year. I have done other levels in the past and it's been great to see so many kids coming back this year and classes get filled. And I loved having my virtual class too and seeing you on your little cameras working hard. So hopefully we'll see everybody this summer and next year. Without further ado, I'm going to take us to the video now and I hope you enjoy our red carpet event. Welcome to Connecticut Art School's 2021 19th Annual Student Art Show, and we're excited to share it with you. Today's event will include a tour of the school and studio, red carpet interviews, and our award show. Throughout the show, we'll be asking some trivia questions. Be sure to write down your answers. We'll also be featuring photos of our students in the school and studio. At the end of our event, You'll have a chance to ask the teachers questions and we'll give you details on how to submit your trivia answers and be entered in an awesome drawing. Welcome to Connecticut Art School. Follow me, we're gonna go inside now. Red carpet at Connecticut Art School. What is your favorite color? Hot pink. Pink. Purple. My favorite color is uh, light blue. Purple. My favorite color is red. Pink. Black. Black. A pink. Orange. Uh. Blue. Lime green. Rainbow. Purple. Pink. Can I see two? Sure. Yellow and pink. Lime green. It is red. Pink. Orange. Pink or blue? Yellow. White. My favorite color is pink and purple. Um, my favorite color is is all the colors in the world because it makes makes up our whole world. Purple, black, orange. My favorite color is pink. Well, I like turquoise and purple and pink. Purple or teal. My favorite color is purple. Pink. Purple. Purple. Yellow. Yellow. Pink. What was your favorite art project this year? The chicken. The cupcake. The pelican. The bunny. The baby Yoda. The Yoda. The butterfly part object. All of them. The Yoda. The wind chicken. Polar bear! So, so. Uh, the bunny. The sea turtle. Probably the corn we made. Unicorn. Well, the bunny. A butterfly. The bunny. The corn. Um, the world the turtle globe thing. The leaves. So I would say the plant pot project. 
Um, the owl, the chicken. The owl. Why do you like art? Because it's relaxing. Because it just calms me down when I'm feeling upset. And you can like draw or um, just paint and do anything cool. Because it's fun. Because it's fun? Painting. I like being creative. Because it's fun and it's creative. Because it's creative. Because you can make creative things like um, like today we're going to draw a butterfly and like this. I like being creative. Because it's so creative. Because it's fun to use markers and paint. The drawing, of course, and the painting and all this stuff. Because we make lots of different colors. Because people get to see it and they think it's cool and get to mix all those colors to make new colors. Because you can create a whole other world just by drawing. Because it's fun! Because it's fun and I get to hang out with my friends while I do it. Because all of the colors. It's really fun and I love doing it during my free time. You can make more with art just, 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 just then, then coloring like, then, then just making a page like blank, like this one. I like art because it's colorful. Because it's calming. Because I love painting. Because I was the oldest before I signed up. You get to draw the pictures. And it can inspire me doing other kind of drawing. Because. I can do it quickly. I love art because it's fun. Because it's kind of fun and I like painting and I like using all the colors. Because I just like using all the colors and being creative. It, it, because it makes, me, it makes me feel happy and, and, and relaxed too. Do you prefer painting or using markers? Using markers because it's easier to not color over the lines. Paint. Paint. Painting. Markers. Markers. Let me go for markers. Markers? Paint. Paint. Uh, using markers. Painting. Both. Both? Alright. Painting. Painting. Markers. Painting. Painting. Paint. I would prefer using markers because you can because you can use markers as as using like tie dye. Painting. Oh, definitely painting. Painting. Markers. Painting because I get to do a cool crayon technique and marker technique. Markers. Paint. I like painting. 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 Um, painting. 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 What's your favorite thing to draw? Uh, pants. a star. Butterflies. My favorite thing to draw is food. Puppies. Dogs. Houses. Cartoons. Cartoons. Phoenixes. Mm, probably sunsets. Can you describe art school using one word? Fun! Surprise? Awesome! It's fun. It's fun. Art. Lots of stuff. Fun. 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 Interesting. Amazing. Interesting. Fun. Fun. Yes. Um, it's where you get to learn how to make nice pictures. Amazing! Great. Amazing. Fun. 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 Exciting. Draw stuff. Fun. Awesome. And now, over to Connecticut Art School. As soon as we come in the building, we need to
to use hand sanitizer so that we can stay safe and not get sick. I promise the colors of the rainbow. draw a butterfly. First, we draw a line like this, like a big oval. Then, we're going to draw a half circle on both sides. Liam's going to do one side and I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to do dots lines and swirls. I'm doing boxes with dots and they look like the sun pretty much. Back to the red carpet at Connecticut Art School. What is your favorite color? Pink. Purple. <laughs> Green. Teal. Blue. Red. Purple. Lime. Teal. My favorite color is any color, really. Black. Pink. Um, pink. Purple. Um, my favorite color is blue. Pink. My favorite color is white. Oh, uh, red. My favorite color is blue. Uh, light pink and light green. Black. Green. Red. Blue. Green. Pink. Um, my favorite color is purple. Blue. Purple. Teal. What do you love most about art? Creating new things. Everything. Yeah, it's because it's fun. <laughs> because it's fun. Mm -hmm. Because I get to draw. Because it's a good way to express myself. Because it's fun. <laughs> um, because it's fun and it, it doesn't really matter how it looks. It just matters that you like it. Because it, I get to show how I feel, it expresses feelings, okay. and very colorful, and uh, it's it, it's like a boredom crusher, so you won't be bored at all. Um, it's just fun to like make something that's not in reality. It's people because it lets you express yourself when um you can't show it physically. Uh, because it looks good when I finish drawing it, it's not that satisfying. Because it has beautiful details. Because I get to do a ton of art projects, and because this, the one that I'm doing right now at the beach scene, I really like. Is that I, um, I love um, showing my mom and dad my artwork when it's done, and I also just painting the way I get to try lots of new types of it um I like to color a lot and it's my hobby I like to like sketch and I like how I can make anything and be able to see it I like how colorful it is 
Well, it's drawing and shading and it's just so much fun. Um, they can make multiple different things. I love it because, well, it's one of my favorite hobbies. I, um, I have my own art desk and my mom surprised me with this, um, well, with the school that I was able to go to. What do you prefer, painting or coloring with markers? Painting. Using markers. I like paint a lot more. Definitely paint. Painting. Because you can do more um, texture with it. Painting. Markers. Painting. Painting. Markers. Drawing with markers. Um, painting. Paint. Painting. I need markers because of painting because then you can't control it. Painting. Draw. Mm, paint. Probably markers. Marker. Paint. Markers. Paint. Painting. Markers. What was your favorite project that you made in class? There's a lot. There's a lot. Can you name some of them? Mm, the flower project. The baby Yoda. Um, the shaped one. And a little bit more. The no. Um, the one we did last week. What one was that? That was the sunset. The castle. The scarecrow from last year. <laughs> the baby Yoda. No, I'm painting baby Yoda. Uh, my favorite art project is um, actually it's um, the one that we just did right now. The shaving base. The fish. Well. I like um, my snowman that I did. Probably the castle. I really like the baby Yoda. The baby Yoda put picture. The collage. Describe this art class in one word. Super fun. 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 Mm, happy. Fun. Amazing. Interesting. <laughs> Fun. Um, exciting. Fun. <laughs> Experimental. Fantastic. Fun. It's fun. Fun. Creative. Fun. Imaginative. It's confident. It's really enjoyable as fun. Okay, what is your favorite thing to draw? Dinosaurs. My favorite thing to draw is fish or like rainbows. My favorite thing to draw is ice cream. Um, my favorite thing to draw is unicorns. Frogs. My favorite thing to draw is definitely a frog. Mmm, dogs. Uh, dragons. It's just random colors on, on, a, on a piece of paper. And now, over to Connecticut Art School. This is the studio where all our level three and four props are at. Every supply bag has um, sketchbooks, pencils, sharpies, and other things. We use our sketchbooks to plan our projects and design what we need. So we use things to practice before we go on um, our paper where we're going to perform our art piece. And we always practice all of our colors and things that we're going to put in our project. This is the roll of threads. It is multiple vertical and horizontal lines. And when the lines cross, it is so you can put very, like, big objects or objects that you want to focus on. I'm 
first before you start your trees. You can layer in what is going to go back in your middle ground okay. first, and then you layer on top of that your your darker trees because you want to get the light stuff first. Okay. And then Back to the red carpet at Connecticut Art School. Can you tell me what you learned at the Connecticut Art School? Well, definitely one thing that I think I really improved on is probably shading. Oh, I learned how to draw a hand. Uh, layering. I probably just learned how to like better use different media, so like better use watercolors and like oil paints and stuff like that. Just really like expand my knowledge on them. Uh, shading and realistic paintings. How to blend colors like paint and colored pencils. I learned how to blend colors better. Watercolor. I learned how to blend a lot of um, different art materials. Like, I never knew how to blend colored pencils before, or paint. I learned how to like blend things more, like instead of going all at once with a colored pencil, going back and forth. How to like mix colors and stuff. How to properly like design and plan an art piece. Mm, I've learned a lot of different things. Mostly how to, mostly working on improving my shading. I've learned how to do shading with colored pencils. Well, I've learned a lot of things, but the one thing I think I've learned the most is a watercolor because I haven't been able to use watercolor the proper way. It always used to like blend together and I didn't want that very much. So I learned how to do that. I've learned a lot of things but I think I really improved on my shading. How to blend better. Um, I learned that different people give different types of outlooks on the same thing. I learned how to express like my feelings on paper. Um, I've learned like a lot of skills, but probably like I learned to be more like creative, I guess. I learned how to put my emotions into art. Um, I learned different techniques for art. Um, I learned lots of different techniques for art and how to be expressive in my art. Well, I've learned a lot of different stuff, but I definitely think I've learned how to like blend with paint a lot better than I have. I've learned how to lay out my artwork. I have learned a lot of things. So I've learned how to use acrylic paint, watercolor, shade with color pencil, shade with pencil, do still lives, like do grid drawings, yeah, a bunch of things. What word would you use to describe art class? Um, I guess it's like very enthusiastic. Um, fun. <laughs> Creativity. Uh, very bubbly. Creativity. It's fun. Um, creative? Mm, fun. Um, fun. Um, creativity. Fun. Fun. Creativity. Fun. You. Freedom. Artistic. Relaxing. Creativity. Fun. Artsy. Um, I'd probably say like, it's, it's fun. It's like, we do a lot of different things. Like nothing's ever really a repeat. Like we use some of the same medias over and over, but like it's different projects each time. So. Exciting. Um, I think relaxing. Fun. Exciting. I would say either fun or relaxing. Relaxing. Uh, probably fun. Fun. Freeing. Fun. Why do you love art? I like art because I find it relaxing and I can pretty much do whatever I want. I can express myself and make others happy through my art. You can be as creative as you want with it. 
because I can express myself and it's very calming. I love art because I can be creative and I can express myself in many different ways. Because when you're doing art, you don't really see, like, you don't, you don't feel anyone else judging you because it's just there. No one else can, like, remove it or tell anything about it. I can get away from reality. I love art because it's a break from reality. Because it's a good creative outlet. Well, it's really relaxing for me. It helps me calm down sometimes. And it's just always nice to do. Because it makes me like feel happy and it lets me get to my creative self. I love art because it's just something that I've always been geared towards. Because ever since I was little, like that was like one of my most favorite things to do. Because it lets me express myself no matter how I feel. Uh, I love art because it just, like, just brings me away from all my worries, you know, it's just very relaxing, technically, so, yeah. I like art because I can design whatever I want and just be free in what I can do. Because it gives me a way to express myself. Um, probably, like, when, like, I'm, like, not doing, like, real life stuff, I just like to, like, do like art because it's something like away from everything else. I love art because I can express what I feel or what I see in drawing. It gives me a way to express myself. Because it helps you escape the world. I love art because there are so many different styles. Like there's um there are some that are like abstract and there's some are realistic and a lot of stuff like that. favorite color? Green. Blue. Red. Purple. There's all the shades of blue. The entire rainbow. What's your favorite project? Um, the sunset one. The Chinese bull one. Um, the sunset. This the sunset. This one. This but one. mostly I like the 3D one. When we like did the cross hatching project. Mm, the sunset. Describe art in one word. Best. Creative. Very creative. Fun. Amazing. Creative. And why do you like art? Because it's fun. Because you can do it, you can, um, there's a lot of stuff you can do to your art, artwork. I like art because it's really fun and you could be as creative as you want and like no one could judge you about it. Because like um you get to do it however you want and like you don't have to have it the exact same way someone else does it. I like art because it calms me down when I'm frustrated and it's just really fun to do. What's your favorite color? Uh, my favorite color is purple. Is green. Black. Cyan. Blue. What was your favorite project? The botanical star collage. Um, I like the ones with the gems. The one where we had to draw the anime characters. It's probably the sewing hearts. The gemstone one. The primary color painting. How about art in one word? Relaxing. It's creativity. It's whimsical. Creativity. Calming. It's creativeness. What's something you might have learned? Um, I think how to use colored pencils to make them look smooth. I learned how to control watercolors better. How to use watercolors without blotting them. How to draw anime characters better. How to control my watercolors. Do the trees in watercolor. The moment you've all been waiting for. The 2021 Connecticut Art School Awards. Oscar goes to her level one favorite color. 
is pink. Her award goes to her level one most challenging project is sea turtle. The Oscar award goes to her level one favorite project goes to butterfly garden. Oscar award goes to her level one favorite art material is acrylic paint. The Oscar award goes to her level one favorite thing to draw goes to dogs. Level 3 favorite art style goes to Abstract. The Oscar for the most challenging project in Level 3 goes to Primary Color Still Life. And the award for Level 3's favorite art project goes to The Gemstone. If your favorite color in level three goes to purple. The Oscar for favorite art material in level three goes to colored pencil. project goes to Unusual Materials. The award for L4 favorite color goes to blue. The award for L4 favorite art material goes to colored pencils. Award for L4 favorite art style is cartoons and doodles. Award for L4 most challenging project goes to the donut. We are also unveiling our virtual gallery on our website www.ctartschool.com. Every student in the school has art featured in the gallery. If you would like to join us for some summer fun, we still have space available in our new summer craft parties. Our fall weekly class schedule will be available in July or early August, and classes start in September. Congratulations to all of these fabulous artists. Thank you for joining us at the Connecticut Art School. Have a great summer! Have a great summer! <laughs> Mic drop. We're back. So we hope you all enjoyed the show. The kids were fabulous. 
we had a few people that had trouble getting in. So we increased the number in the middle of the show. So I'm sorry if you didn't catch all of it. We did record it. So you'll be able to go back and watch the whole thing. We didn't know how many people were gonna sign in today. So it was a little hard to predict, but we're so excited that we actually broke our number and that more people were here. So that means more people are enjoying art and sharing it with their families. And that's the best that we could hope for. So our gallery online is at www.ct-artschool.com. Like two or three minutes after we, we stop the Zoom here, we'll update that gallery, we'll update that website, and you'll be able to see go to it and see the virtual gallery. It has artwork from all of the students in the school. You can click on it, go through, see all your work, your friends' work, and see all the different levels. And then there's also a little behind the scenes area where you can just see some really fun photos because one of the things that happened this year, as you know, parents weren't allowed in the school. So you didn't get to see some of the things that were happening. You didn't get to see all our beautiful transformation. Um, so you're gonna see some of that in the behind the scenes tour. Um, before I go any further, I do wanna give a couple shout outs, a couple thank yous. All of our teachers work extremely hard to make this work for your kids. And one of the real strengths to our program is and has always been the teachers because they connect with your kids. They see them every single week. And when a teacher sees a kid for 34 weeks in a row, they get to know which ones they can push a little harder, which ones need a little extra help, which ones are having a bad day. So it really is such a vital part of our program to have our teachers and we're extremely proud of them. But I wanna give a special shout out to Ms. Cody who made all the graphic designs for us. She did our invitations in your swag boxes that you got. She did the artist button. She did all the beautiful artwork that went around with the red carpet. And she also designed um, a certificate of achievement. So we're gonna post that this week too. So you can actually, you can add, edit it, add your child's name and you can print off a certificate that says they completed their art show, their art school year this year, which is really nice. Um, there will also be a number of kids next week that are going to be receiving their awards if they've been here for five years or longer. And we have a lot of kids. We actually have one person, um, Sophia Wong, who's been here 12 years, which is just amazing. Five-year award is the bear. That's the tradition. Miss Kathy's going to show you our bear. So all our five-year kids have earned their bear, which is really cool. Um, the other person I want to give a special shout out to is Miss Jenna. And she did an enormous amount of the work on the video for us today. She was definitely the one that kept us all on track and left us lots of really good notes and she came up with the format the trivia questions she was instrumental in making this whole thing work for you so i know we had a few glitches today but that's kind of to be expected it's, it is new to pull all this off and make it work um but we're excited we hope that everything worked out for you guys we hope you, you'll go back and share it with your friends and family it'll be online for quite a long time probably the whole year um, our summer camp program. Summer is open. We're actually sold out for the summer. We do have a wait list going. So if there's something that you want, you can still email us. It will put you on a wait list. Sometimes things do change, but we also have our brand new craft party days this year. And they're, they're something that we've never done before. And we're really excited about them too. They're two and a half hours long. During that time, you do two craft projects. If you look online, um, just click under summer craft party days. You'll see the whole description of them. But the part that we think is extra fun about them is they're really art events so that you can come with a friend. You can bring a teenager, you can bring a grown up, an aunt, an uncle, a grandparent. You can make it into an activity like a morning out to do art and then go out to lunch together or go across the street to Rita's and get an icy together. But it's really a bonding event. So it's not, it's more than just making art. It's really a way to have a special day or a couple of friends can do it together. Six and seven year olds have to bring a grown up helper. Anybody eight and above can come alone, or you're welcome to bring a helper. And the helper does not pay. It's just one fee for the artist, and you get to make a day of it. So we hope you take advantage of that. It's super cool. Awesome. All right, everybody, enjoy the rest of your wonderful day today. And thank you so much for joining us.